Scholars, when they talk about the slave trade into the Americas, particularly North America, often speak of the triangular trade. Uh, most of the uh, slaves who were carried on New England ships were actually not brought back to New England, but were instead carried to the sugar-producing colonies of the Caribbean. And so what emerged in the 18th century was a triangular trade in which sugar and molasses produced by slaves in the Caribbean, in Cuba, Jamaica, Barbados, Antigua, and Haiti would uh, find its way on New England ships back to places like Boston or Newport, Rhode Island, where it would be distilled into rum. That rum then became a very important trade good on ships that would sail to Africa to acquire new cargoes of enslaved Africans. Uh, so that you, you ended up over the course of the 18th century getting this triangular traffic in which ships from New England laden with rum would acquire cargoes of African captives carry them to the Caribbean to produce more sugar and molasses, to produce more rum, to produce more captives.